Hey there, uh, just kidding about being done. I forgot I wanted to show you some browser shortcut keys as well, not just those specific to uh, Google Docs or Dolphin Pod or whatever you want to call it. So for this, I've gone ahead and gone to Wikipedia, which I hope you're all familiar with. Um, and for the first thing I wanted to show you that is maybe a little handy, rather than scrolling either with the mouse wheel or by clicking and dragging over here on the side, um, one thing you can do to move down on a web page is press the space bar. And that moves you down one frame at a time. Now, kind of like I mentioned before, if you press shift space, it'll take you back up. Now, one of the other things you can do to move down a frame is press page down. And again, shift page down doesn't do anything, but page up certainly will take you back up. So again, that is space to move down a frame, shift space to move up a frame. Why, why am I telling you this? Why is that important? Well, I think it kind of saves a little bit of time. One other thing you can do that you may or may not be aware of is if you press Control T or Command T in any browser that supports tabs that I'm aware of, it opens a new tab. And so this has taken us here to the Cal State University Channel Islands webpage. Now we can press Command or Control W to close that tab and go back to where we were. One thing that all is also sort of handy is if we press Control or Command L, it takes us to the location bar. It's L for location. And from here, we can navigate to wherever we want. So say we want to go back to Channel Islands, we can type that in. And I've already been there a couple times, so it's come up. One thing that's also handy to know is if you hold control or command and press enter, it will open that in a new tab. So then you don't actually have to say, say you were curious about something and you type it in, but you didn't want to actually leave your page. You can hold control or command to get that to open in a new tab. One other thing that's pretty handy is if you hold control or command and click on a link, it will open it in a new tab as well. I use this all the time because I love having a bunch of tabs open. Because I'll see something like, say, I'm wanting to read about this bridge. I'll be reading this article and go, oh, hey, I don't know anything about the River Thames. And scroll down and be reading things. And I can look and see, oh, hmm, I'm really curious about, say, this paper. <clears throat> and that's that way I kind of have all of my tabs open. And then... I can sort of look through them at my leisure. Now one other thing, say you're really curious about, I don't know, for whatever reason you wanted to find every time somebody used the word and, you could go control or command F and that opens the search feature for find in page. So for example, say I wanted to find every instance of the word bridge in this article, I can type in bridge and perhaps unsurprisingly it comes up kind of a lot considering this is an article about a bridge. This is really handy if you're looking through say scholarly articles and you're looking for a particular search term that's very handy in a lot of browsers you can press alt 1 through 9 to go through your different tabs now unfortunately safari doesn't support this but it's still nice to know also in many browsers if you press alt tab it will take you through your open tabs like i said unfortunately this doesn't quite work in Safari. The final thing I wanted to talk about is the ability to zoom in. Now this works by holding command or control and scrolling up and that will zoom you in. Uh, holding control and zooming down will of course zoom out. You can also do this by holding command or control and pressing the plus or minus key. I think this is handy because if you wanted to get a closer look at a picture you can zoom in and say, I mean obviously you can click on many of them and get a larger picture, but say you have already enhanced that as much as you can and you want to zoom in a little bit more you can just keep pressing control and plus or control and scroll up and get really close in now unlike CSI the image quality doesn't get better it just kind of gets bigger and maybe more pixely where this is especially handy is say you come across an article that is um, it written in a tiny font or a document that's in a tiny font say it looks like this and you're having a hard time reading it you can use this feature to zoom in and read kind of as big a font as you would like so again that uh, the shortcuts we just went over 
Control Command T to open a new tab. Um, you can press Control or Command W to close the tab. You can also click this button right here to close it. And also you can click your mouse wheel on most of them to close it like that. Of course, you can't really tell what I've done. The other thing I wanted you to know is Control or Command F to open the Find menu to find things within the page. I use that all the time. Control or Command clicking will open a link in a new tab. Control Command L takes you to the location bar. This is handy because in Chrome and Safari, this is also the search bar. So if you are really curious about something, you can just search for it. And also remember, when you go to the search bar or the location bar by pressing Command L, you can type something and hold Command and press Enter, and that will open that location in a new tab. Okay, for real this time, I think that's it. I didn't get to go over how to log in to Blackboard, but that's the same as logging into Google Docs like I showed you earlier. Um, if there is any questions or if anybody needs help with that, feel free to email me and hopefully by the time I get your email I will be able to show you how to log in. Like I said, that's the same way. Go through your MyCI portal and you should have a CI Learn link. I don't have one yet, but that's um, just sort of a paperwork issue. I should be able to demonstrate that soon. Right. Thank you. Have a good week. Good luck with the homework.